within the three months that I got official registered, I already got grants for $8,000. Hi everyone, it's Dinara here. Today I'm excited to share how I finally broke the abundance code and what I did in order to get more abundance in my life and to get the iPhone and this one and to get anything that I wanted, that I wished for. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but before I wanted to share that in my channel, I share my experience on manifestation and it's called manifestation for beginners because i'm a beginner myself and i want to create this community because i believe in manifestation i believe that this is something true that this is something possible to manifest anything you want in your life when i see the examples of someone who is like me who is only starting the manifestation journey who is like a female who is young and who is struggling on the way but still manifest the things and the more belief i have the more manifestations i make so that uh, i decided to help to you and to show you that it's not only about being a big blogger it's not only about those who have millions or like thousands of subscribers and then they of course can manifest anything in their lives but this is about ordinary people like me who have 370 subscribers and who is only starting the manifestation journey who has a lot of struggles but still can make and manifest anything they want into their lives so it's not only about the iphone getting the iphone or any other stuff but it's changing your mentality to be abandoned and before that i want to share that it's not only about the abundance but i got like whole list of things that happened to me within like two weeks or maybe three weeks it happened really fast before nothing was happening but once i broke it i had if you can call it a quantum leap where every day i get some offers and i get some money for that so the first one was when uh, i really wanted to manifest a corporate training for about manifestation and before I only had individual one-on-one -on -one consultations about manifestations and I helped like people on the individual basis. But I thought it would be fun to make it with the group and to make a corporate training. And my friend who is running a coffee house, she's like, do you want to have a training for my staff? And there was about 11 people there, uh, baristas, waiters, managers of the coffee house. And I got to make a training for them about manifesting their goals. And it was so exciting. I felt so good and I felt so happy. You can see it by my face. And I spent my Sunday morning. I woke up early to do that because I was really excited. So that's thing number one that I manifested and that I feel really excited about. The second thing is that, as you know, probably know if you're following me, I, I've launched my own fund and we are doing the girls development trainings, uh, girls in STEM, in tech and uh, girls in self-development. It's for students and high school students. And I launched it in April. I had an official registration in April of 2021. So it's pretty like new. And within this like April, May, June, within the three months that I got official registered, I already got grants for $8,000 in total to run different projects within my grants because I don't do, I don't want to do it like voluntarily. I want to get paid for my work, for my services, and I want others also to be, to get paid for the work they do. So I'm really excited that we got these grants and we can uh, run cool programs with that. Another thing, just yesterday, one girl called me from an organization that I've been working for before and she's like, hey, do you want to facilitate the course that you've been doing before? The year before, in November 2020, I did one course, online course on project management for this organization and they want to hire me again and I'm like, yeah, of course, they pay really well and the job is really nice, so I'm going to probably take it and today, Another woman calls me uh, from my network and she's like, hey, we're starting another project in Central Asia. Do you want to join? Do you want to be a coordinator from Kazakhstan? And I'm like, wow, I get offers every day and it's so exciting. And the final thing is that I'm going through a selection process for a job of my dreams, also related to women and girls empowerment. 
this is a really cool job that I want and I've been selected to the second stage where I'll have a second interview with a program officer so I'm really looking forward for it and it would be really exciting if I could get this too so it's a lot happening in my life and all of my manifestations are coming true but before it's been a year of struggles I've been really sad I've been really frustrated why my wishes are not coming true so today I decided to share with you the five things that I did and that I think helped me to uh, get this state of abundance where I get all of these contracts and stuff like that. The first thing will be EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. It's a whole, it's a thing for a whole another video, but I just want to mention it. And I've been doing it every day for five minutes every morning in the early spring for about a month or one month and a half, but nothing happened. And I was really frustrated and upset about that. It's taking time. So I did it in spring and in summer, I've uh, started seeing the fruits of that. And I started doing it again. And I revived this practice for my morning routine. So I would highly recommend doing the emotional freedom technique. You can find uh, it on YouTube. Just make sure that the voice, uh, the author of the video is nice and you like their voice and uh, make sure that you're doing it in your native language and uh, you will get the explanation of how it works probably from youtube and what the the one that i used is from katrin zinkina manifestation babe i'll leave the link uh you need to register in her freebie library and i'll leave the link to that and you can find the emotional freedom technique or tapping it's also called tapping and you can use this one and it works wonders it's much better than affirmations because you work with the body you need to tap on certain parts of your body while affirmations is not working with the body and it's working only with the mind so i love this technique and i see the fruits of that the second one i shared in my previous video is george spends in meditations and i've been doing them for the last months and i've been doing them every day I didn't miss a day. I've been really committed to that and I've been really enjoying uh, every minute of that. It's not that I forced myself to do this meditations, but it's more of that, that I really enjoyed it. I, I'm looking forward every day to do it. It's taking only 30 minutes at night and I describe it in details in my previous videos. So please feel free to do that and use that. Uh, the third one is I got a realization that I don't want to pay others. I don't want to, for example, like I got this all these grants and I have a team who I have to pay. And I'm like, but I don't want to pay them. I want to like get the services for free. And this is very strange. And I'm glad that I caught myself on this thought. I caught myself on this stupid belief that I don't want to pay others. And... This is very important to understand. If you don't want to pay others, no one will want to pay to you because this is like uh, the law of one of the laws of attraction where what you do to others, you do to yourself. So if I want, don't want to pay others, I um, won't be paid by others as well. So it's kind of strange and it's kind of, uh, it was a surprise for me to get this realization, but I. I'm glad that I caught it and I'm glad that I had accepted it and I'm glad that I digged into that and I started asking myself why don't I want to pay I have money I have all these grants why don't I want to pay to these people because they help me a lot and they do all these kinds of jobs and works for the fund that I'm running so uh, this was a huge huge realization again and you can find different beliefs in your system because it's individual for everyone maybe you hate rich people maybe you hate um, money maybe you think money is dirty maybe you think that money doesn't grow on trees or anything like that you have to identify your individual beliefs and for that it's very good to meditate because you finally will be able to listen to yourself and to this inner voice that will be louder when you are doing meditation Fourth important thing is fulfilling promises. I give lots of promises. I fucking hate that. That I give like, oh, let's go to the to have lunch. Oh, I'm going to buy you this. I, I promise 
everything to everyone I see and I hate about this about myself uh, because I forget about some promises but it's very very important to fulfill the promises that you do to yourself like I'm oh I'm going to run every day but then you don't oh I'm going to drink like this uh, with a wa uh, two liters of water every day and then you don't or you uh, promise something to others like I promise my friends to have lunch with them. I promise my little sister to go out with her. I promise all of these things, but it's not happening and it's really, really bad. I made a list of the things that I promised and I keep making this list or I, I just stop myself from making another promises until I fulfill this ones. So I made this list and I was, I started checking out all of the promises and doing it and getting rid of this like promises not fulfilled promises because it takes up a lot of energy and it's bad for your karma it's bad for a manifestation so just believe me as soon as i started fulfilling all of the promises that i had on my list my life got better and i got uh, more abundance in my life i got more offers and more money and the last but not least, I would say that this one is very, very important. The most important is surrendering because I remember that a couple of weeks ago, I didn't have that much uh, offers. I had all of these grants, but it took so long to make it. Maybe it's because of the uh, retrograde Mercury or I don't know what about the things that defers me getting money. So I have them potentially. I was awarded, but it takes a lot of time to do all these formalities to sign the documents and to finally get it on my card and it's also transferred in, in like small tranches and i hate that so the kids are screaming outside so i just surrendered and i said okay now i have about 20 bucks uh, on my card uh, I, I just surrender whatever happens is happening I'm just surrendering I don't care what happens because I just trust in the universe to give me whatever it wants and whatever it thinks is important for me at that moment so as soon as I surrendered I, I was journaling and I was writing okay I'm surrendering and uh, I just need to surrender and I don't care what happens in 10 minutes at night I get the email that telling me that I'm going to the second stage of the interview for my dream job. So the so, so moment as I surrendered, I started getting all of these perks from the universe and I kept going. Even like surrendering doesn't mean that you don't do anything. Surrendering is when you keep doing what you have to do, like my to-do list, filling all of these forms for grants and doing all of this work for my fund and just, doing my routines but without this inner resistance that something needs to happen that I don't believe that something will improve in my life without this complaints and without waiting I just said okay whatever the time is right for me it is as it is I just surrender so I hope that this five things will help you to live more abundant life and it will get you iPhones or whatever you want. And again, it might take some time. I was really frustrated that it's not happening fast, but as soon as I got detached from the time and I said, it doesn't matter when it happens because I feel happy at this moment. When I don't have iPhone, when I don't have money, when I don't have projects, it doesn't matter. It doesn't define me and it doesn't make me uh, less worthy if I don't have all of the things uh, and I know I, I truly believe and I trust into the universe that I'm gonna get it and I hope all of you will have everything that you want I wish you all this vibes to get everything that you want to buy to be abandoned and to buy designer clothes to buy a good house a car move out to your parents uh, go to fancy restaurants because you deserve it and even if you don't have any money on your bank account now even if you're a student a high school student you're struggling you're broke you're unemployed it doesn't matter you need to start somewhere because the last year was like a hell for me i didn't have much problem projects i didn't have much trust in the universe and i didn't have 
this confidence and as soon as i got it as soon as i started surrendering and kept pushing even though nothing was changing i heard this a lot of times like oh the darkest night is before the dawn you need to hit the bottom before you will see the breakthrough i heard it hundreds of times from all of coaches and different manifestation experts but believe me it's true i know that it sounds cheesy and it sounds like um not true when you're in a bad state when you're hitting your bottom but believe me there is hope and you have your life and you just need to keep pushing keep going keep swimming and do whatever it takes for you just surrender and be present and keep manifesting things that you want in your life